Hello and welcome to my bank holiday Monday. Well, I said I was going to have a lion and I did until nine o'clock and then I got up. And do you know what? It's been a crazy two months for me trying to keep up six uploads a week <laughs> on top of doing all my gigs and more importantly, all the preparation that I've been needing to do for the gigs. And today has been no exception because I was out gigging last night. So I was editing most of the vlog today and I'm still trying to get the vlog up for tonight. But I thought I'd take a little break just to have a little chat to you and say hello. I suppose my biggest event of the day other than anything else is getting new glasses they're going to be the same as these basically except blue and a stronger prescription and they are very focals and both prescriptions have changed both the readingy bit and the long distancey bit so that's that so it's in an hour and a half i'm just basically getting a drink having a little break to get a drink and uh, then i'm going to carry on and do my thumbnail and do all the rest of the bits to get the vlog up it's been crazy you know but now that we're coming very close to september the gig level is going to drop down a lot so I'm hoping to resume getting out and about with the camera a bit more during the week and have some dedicated days where I'd go out to film interesting places, you know, this is what I want to be doing, but I'm obviously not a full-time YouTuber. In my dreams I am, you know, in my head I think I am, but in reality I'm obviously working as a musician primarily as my source of income, so that has to come first. So it's like I've had two months of like trying to squeeze the vlog in around it all. So anyway, hopefully now, as my work drops down for the season a bit, I'll be able to up the ante a bit with getting out and about with the camera a bit more. I'd really like to do that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to make a drink and get back upstairs and get on with this vlog because it's not going to get itself up. And I'll, uh, I'll speak to you probably when it's like time to go out to the opticians or maybe have some food because I might get hungry before that happens. We'll see. Just coming up to five past one and I've just got me vlog up. About now I should be eating lunch really before going to the opticians because I don't want to turn up and then be hungry but I'm really not hungry yet. So I'm going to do a little teeny tiny amount of flute practice to start my practice off just now and then maybe come up in half an hour and eat a snack or something before I go. I've been on to Izzy. I want to know what her drying facilities are at uni because there's like an eye view tour thing on the website I think of her uni where you can look around the campus rooms and see what they're like. I said can you go on there and see if you've got a radio so you can hang that thing on like there's something in Wilco I'm coveting now it's one of these things that clips onto a radiator and there's like four or five bars that you can hang your clothes on by the radiator so maybe that's the thing but then I'm thinking well would she maybe have a room with errors in already that she can just use I don't know so she's investigating for me now in her room and I'm gonna go practice and I'll talk to you when I'm done I practiced for half an hour look it makes sense to eat the other pasty as you said she doesn't want it so I'm just gonna eat that quick and then get off to the opticians she's just gone to shorten the arms of the glasses a bit for me because they're a tiny bit too long at the moment and they're slipping off my nose. Well, not off, but down my nose, you know. I've got a bottle of that by my bed that I've had for about 20 years. It's still going, there's plenty left and it still works. I mean, we'll come again. I'll show you my new glasses in a minute. Not that they're very different, but look at all this space now where the aisles are disappearing. So I, uh, I've been in touch with Izzy. She's had a little look at a video online at the layout of her room for uni. And it's quite hard to make out. Yeah, glasses, same as the others basically, but different color. Anyway, the video is quite hard to make out, but I think she's got like a radiator with a lot of bars on it, which is like a towel drying radiator. And I think in the video, the student had like put one of those things that hangs on the radio that you can hang your clothes off on it and I was squinting at the screen and I think that's what it was so I think it will come in handy whether it's too wide I don't know but I'm going to go and have a look at them now and uh, see how much they are oh gosh look at those blank shelves there all the pet care stuff look 10% off decorating 20% off DIY 30% off but just it looks like it's off <laughs> it's gone toasters oh, I've got to feel bad for the staff if they're you know their futures are in the balance at the moment but these uh, mess ups on these scales you know the business failing whatever it doesn't have put into perspective when you make your own little muck ups in your life that affect maybe just yourself an immediate family you know financially when a big company does it you kind of realize well you know everybody can make mess ups more bareness look loads and loads of empty shelves do you know i was just thinking they might have sold out that looks quite a narrow one actually this radiator error eight pound but it'll be a bit less than that because of the sale yeah i'm gonna get one of the oh but look at that one overdoor concertina error 15 pounds how does that actually work then i'm not sure if the overdoor one's going to be total overkill i don't know I think I'll just get this one for now. 
And it looks as if the way the arms bend, that even if it was even narrower than this, it would still fit. But I don't think it is. I think this this is about the width, I think. I remember when I was in uni, there was nowhere to dry the clothes and I wouldn't have paid for the tumble dryer. So they would have been all over my room. The music stand, all the music students had knickers trying on the music stands <laughs> and anywhere we could hang them. I'm thinking I should probably make a list of things that I would normally buy from here and just get a load because I'll make a saving and won't be able to get them from here for much longer, maybe. I mean, I hope it doesn't close. Because it's a great shop. Anyway, I'm gonna go pay and get back home. Six pound 40. She's in the loo. I'll surprise her with it in a minute when she comes out. It's a kind of bittersweet thing, buying goodies and getting wonderful saving as you're like, ka -ching, you know, saving money in the world goes out. But then it's like, it's, you feel bad at the same time about people potentially losing their jobs. Um, Anyway, these glasses are amazing. I tell you what, I put them on and I wasn't expecting there to be much of a difference because they only said my prescriptions up and down had changed slightly, but whoa, I was like, whoa, this is like getting a new camera and she was laughing. Uh, um, yeah, it is like having a camera upgrade. Everything's sharper and clearer and more in focus i suppose as you would expect but i just didn't expect quite as much difference so i was like walking back up the normal you know plain old streets completely wonderstruck you know taking in all the extra details i just didn't know how much my sight had really deteriorated over the last two years i need to go and knuckle down now in the cellar i probably won't take the camera um and bore you with my flute practice but i need to do some more of that and also i've got a rehearsal tomorrow and I completely forgot, I'm normally very good at prepping for rehearsals normally, but I suddenly remembered about a song that IB was gonna sing and I didn't really have much prepping to do on it, but now I have because he's decided I'm gonna sing it instead. <laughs> but no, he did, I mean, he did ask me if that was all right and I said, yeah, that's fine, but I've completely forgotten about it and I haven't learned it at all. So that is um, Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. We had, a, we had a start at it before, so I need to print out the lyrics and just practice singing along with that track on Spotify with my little speaker in the cellar, which is copyright, so a bit awkward to film. Uh, yeah, so there's that. So that's gonna take me ages today, I think. I have to put the other stuff on hold for now that I'm supposed to be learning. Right, swinging this around. Honestly, I'm such a fidget bum. If mum was here, she'd go, stop fidgeting. Yee, yee, yee. I was so annoying. Right, okay, I'm gonna get on and do stuff now. I'm surprises you with this. Thank you. Coldplay lyrics. So it's just gone half past three now. I'm making myself a cup of tea to take down in the cellar with me. I finished off my hour of flute practice in the cellar and then I came up and I was just looking at to see how much I'd filmed today. So I put the uh, footage on the timeline because sometimes I go over, sometimes I don't do enough. So it's really useful to just check halfway through. Uh, so I did that. Not very interesting, but it is what I did. I have also printed off the lyrics to that Coldplay song that I need to familiarise myself with, quick sharp. So I'm making a little cup of tea and I'm gonna go down in the cellar and I'm gonna spend one hour tops just singing along with it quietly with the Spotify on repeat on that song basically through my little speaker and start making a bit of progress on that because I'm really not very familiar with it at all apart from going over the chorus a lot of times in rehearsal that's all really and you know like hearing it in shops and stuff like that I haven't sort of gone out of my way to listen to it anyway I'm rambling on and on I want to finish by about oh a little bit after half four today. It's a bank holiday. I think I should have some non-music-y time today. That would be nice. I'm kind of thinking I'd like to make a sort of apple strudel-y thing with the remaining apples. I've got some pastry lined up for that. And I'm also thinking it'd be nice to start packing Izzy's uni boxes, but I mean really Izzy should do it. I kind of feel like I want it to get done so I can shove those boxes out of the way and make more room in there. How involved does one get with packing kids things for uni? I'm sure I just did all my own and it, like, it was never even questioned. It's like it's my job to do it but she's um yeah she likes to do things at the last minute <laughs> unlike me who likes to be prepared weeks in advance i want to condense it down pack it seal it put labels on the boxes of what's in there and put it to one side so i can mound them up and make space for new things to come in basically because before we know it it'll be the week before and we'll be panicking so <laughs> well i spoke to her and yeah she's absolutely fine with that she said she'll do it look we've been collecting up boxes for the big move i've been saving jiffy envelopes for things like i don't know if she's got any pictures with glass frames or anything kind of handy for that right that's ignore that that's just my rubbish that is <laughs> so it doesn't look like a lot down here but there is uh, some downstairs as well this is the rest so far so this 
not actually that much really this is just stuff that's been bought though obviously we're going to be packing a lot of stuff that she already has anyway i'm going to take this lovely fresh hot cup of tea down in the cellar with me and get familiarized with this song an hour later and i'm up out of the cellar now the first thing i noticed about this one well apart from the fact that i messed up the sheet completely and i need to redo it is that they've got a lot of syllables that go over different notes for example will do so do is one syllable but it's two notes will do it all so do and all are on two notes. Everything on our own. Do you see what I mean? So I've kind of indicated that because I will forget it. It's quite complicated. Isn't it? It's like a slow song, but when you get into it, like the same with anything, the further you get into it, the more complicated it is. So I'm, oh, I am didn't want to spend ages on this, but I think I want to do it now while it's fresh in my mind. I'm going to go and print it out bigger and then rewrite all my little inflections neater. Because some of them I was like trying to draw straight lines like that to show that it was one note all the way. Those three words. Like in that one, sorry about my dodgy singing. <laughs> like it doesn't go up. So I was trying to indicate it was a straight pitch all the way through. But <laughs> the pen hit something. It was like wobbling around. So it makes it look like it's dipping down and going back up again. Anyway, right, I'm going to go and do that. Actually, I'm going to have a snack first. Do you know, I've had two bananas before I went down there. Two bananas and an ocean stick. To try and tide myself over, there's something the matter with me. I'll tell you what, I've turned into a gannet. Right, there's a bit of this left. Oh, this is just coming in. She's been to Tesco's on her own. Probably to get snacks. Yeah. He's got creaky shoes. And it's because they got holes in them, so like suction. Oh, I see, nice. I've not been in the vlog today then, Ian. No, I don't Do know you... how to fix it. What, being in the vlog? You just have to be in the vlog. Oh, 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 oh. No, I mean, you can include this if you want. I mean, the, the holes in my shoes, the, the, the squeakiness. So no, silicon seal? Somebody in the comments might say, how do you seal it? Well, i tell you what you could do, go to the cobblers. How much would that be? Don't know, but he's very cheap. You could ask for a quote. I'm about to have a tapas sized portion of leftovers. Honestly, I can't stop eating at the moment. Right, I'm gonna have a bit of cheese with it as well. Hopefully this stops me being so ravenous for five minutes. It's come out slightly odd looking, as things can do sometimes when you just copy and paste them from the internet. And I fiddled and fiddled and got it legible. But anyway, I'm gonna add my annotations. There we are, that's much better. I've done an emo spatula on it now, so hopefully when I run through it before I go out tomorrow, that'll make sense to me and I'll help consolidate it and be ready to at least rehearse in rehearsal with it. It's coming up to six o'clock now. I managed to get myself out of the house for a walk. The grot was starting to set in. Do you ever get this? If you don't have a clear plan, but you just sort of allow yourself to drift from task to task throughout the day without any actual proper breaks. And I don't know, like the momentum gradually lessens and lessens. And in the end, you're like, you feel like you're wading through soup, getting stuff done done and I don't know then you start feeling bad that you're not achieving enough that happens to me I feel like I'm wading through soup sometimes but one of the amazing things about having a YouTube channel is when you edit what you did that day you realize of course you got stuff done you got such and such done at 10 in the morning and you achieved something at 11 and then you went shopping and then you did this and then you had an appointment and you realize it was just an ordinary day after all even though it didn't feel like it but I still recommend getting out for a walk when you get in the grots because it puts everything into perspective because being stuck on your own in a room or in a house with nobody else there you just stew in your own juices and amplify little grievances and niggles that are not really very important once you step out of that environment. And another news, it's gone flipping cold, hence my very thick warm jumper that I am wearing right now. Much needed. I got my sandals on. I'm risking it. I've got an umbrella in the bag though, just in case. It'll be autumn before we know it, won't it? Can't believe how fast this summer has flown by. I think when I get back, I'm gonna get on with cooking. I don't know what's the matter with me lately, but I suspect it might be to do with the amount of flute practice I've been doing. And I've been doing quite intense, physically demanding practice. So I think it might be a bit like doing a workout in the gym and then coming in hungry. I, it's not as obviously as energy draining as workout in the gym, but you're somewhere between that and uh, being sedentary anyway. I think it might be making me wanna up my calorie intake. 10 past seven-ish and the stew is coming to fruition. Now randomly there's paneer in there. I know. Oh, it's just rummaging around in the fridge and using stuff up basically. It's very hot and spicy stew. I've realised if I put a lot of chilli in and uh, things like that, my daughter way prefers it to just normal. And there's pasta bits because she loves those. While that's bubbling away, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Gemma for the buy me a coffee donation to the channel. Now quite often I don't film this, but quite often when I'm waiting 10 minutes or so for a dinner to cook, I'll sit on the sofa and do another 10 minutes of Duolingo, something like that, to pass the time in a fun, relaxed way. <laughs> so I'm going to go and do that. 
that now, actually. Sometime later, serving up. Can you guess who's is whose? Here's exhibit A. Here's exhibit B. Can you tell the difference? Yes. Isabel likes dry food. I like wet food, swimming in liquid. <laughs> so that's mine. I used a holy spoon to serve hers up. I shall give her a call now that that's ready. She's upstairs packing as per instructions, yay, and writing on the box what's in there so we don't forget. Would you believe we managed to buy, completely months apart, two can openers, but she's been on the live chat with the new housemates and somebody's missing one, so she's gonna donate it to that person. It's all arranged. Anyway, I am gonna get on and eat that and then edit this vlog, but thank you so much for watching it. Could you please give it a like if you happen to like it, subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video.